Hi, my name is Matt Emo of Invent Thermal. Welcome to Raychem Connects, where we connect you to the product. Today we will be discussing the electrical terminations associated with a winterized enclosure. Inside of a winterized enclosure, we have electrical components and therefore electrical connections. We have a thermostat and a heater giving power to giving heat to the enclosure. We also have electric heat trays, self-regulating, and mineral insulated depending on the application, two bundle RTDs, and enclosure RTDs that need to be considered when designing a winterized enclosure. We believe that having one single junction box, as shown here, is much better than having a variety of different junction boxes around your plant. That ensures that you're not wasting time looking for a junction box for electric heat trace, RTDs, or even heater power and that is located very close to the winterized enclosure for a quick association. Also, for the electric heater, we suggest that having a disconnect switch so you can turn that disconnect switch off when maintenance is being done inside of the enclosure to ensure that you don't have any personnel protection issues and having a heater on. Make sure that you turn it back on when you're done. Let's take a more in-depth look at some of the electrical connections that are associated with this winterized enclosure. Now let's take a more in-depth look at the junction box for the winterized enclosure. As you can tell, there is physical separation between the junction box and the enclosure. That's because the junction box is typically a Div 2 Zone 2 rating, whereas the enclosure is usually more stringent and is Div 1 or Zone 1. So there has to be physical separation. There is a conduit seal here that goes into this junction box that has a 4X rated hub because this is a 4X rated enclosure or junction box. We want to make sure that you, if you have a 4X rated junction box, that you make sure that the, you, may, you keep the uh, penetrations into it rated to the same ingress protection rating. That's important to think about, especially when you're bringing cabling in, that you use 4X connections into the junction box. Otherwise, what happens is that it loses this ingress protection rating and there's potential for water to get in. Looking inside of this junction box, you can see that we have terminations for your electric heat trace that are feed through. Make sure with self-regulating, it does come with a ground, whereas mineral insulated does not, and that you account for the right number of ground terminations inside of that uh, heat trace terminations. Then you also have the heater, which is connected with a fuse to protect it from any kind of surge in power, and it also protects the disconnect switch if you need. Then you have the two bundle RTDs and the enclosure RTDs, if you need, in one location. One small thing to think about is when you're done with your, your junction box, is you want to make sure that you latch it shut to ensure that that ingress protection rating is maintained and that you don't have any water coming into the junction box. For additional information, please reach out to your Invent sales rep. Thank you and have a great day.